Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. James here from JVC Paints. Uh, it's been a while since I've uh, put up a video, so uh, without further ado, I'm, let's get stuck right in here. Um, today I'm presenting some more World War One 28mm uh, figures for uh, from the Balkan and Mediterranean fronts. Um, these are a commission for a friend of mine. Um, there will be photos up at the end and uh, there will be timestamps below. So if you feel like hopping through the video, go right ahead. Um, first up, we have some Gallipoli Aussies. Uh, these are from Empress Miniatures and were pretty easy to paint up. The sculpts were all fairly crisp and the figure themselves uh, were quite chunky and had some nice detail. Um, we've got a guy here, he's, he's uh, washing his face. Um, this guy here, I don't really understand this figure. If you're an Aussie and you understand what this is, he's got a little ball and a little racket. And I don't know if he's using it as a, like a paddle ball kind of thing to draw out snipers or not. I have no idea. But if you know, let me know. Uh, then we've got an officer here. Uh, I would imagine this guy's rank would probably be somewhere in the realms of a major or colonel, uh, telling from the, the bits and pieces on his epaulets. And then finally, we've got another guy here, maybe an NCO of some sort. Um, next up, let me just turn the camera a little bit here to the, the right here. Uh, next up here, we have some uh, Bulgarian officers from Eureka Miniatures. Uh, I believe that the figures were okay. Um, they're a little smaller than the Aussies. Let's just move one Aussie over here real quick so you can get a quick size comparison, as you can see. Uh, or at least the the, uh, the um, Empress ones are a lot more chunky, I could say. Um, but um, figures were okay. Um, the cleanup was a little bit tricky in certain places for some reason. And the details were kind of hit and miss. Um, also, uh, pardon me, there's not a lot of reference with these guys on the internet. So uh, it was kind of difficult to come up with how their uniforms would look. But uh, I think I did an okay job. Um, this one here, oh, my fingers, we should use this thing. This guy's got his uh, saber out. This guy's got his pistol out. Um, not a lot of details. They have some uh, uh, arm yarns on the pistols, which were a little bit tricky to do. But other than that, they were okay. And I had to use my imagination in a lot of places to just sort of make fill in the blanks, I guess. Um, next to them, um, we've got uh, a Bulgarian artillery crew, also from uh, Eureka. The details on these guys are sparse at best. The sculpts are like a C or maybe even a D plus, I would say. Um, it was just things like the fingers would look more like, you know, like old rotting carrots rather than fingers. You know, it was, a lot of things were very, very hit and miss. Um, but uh, basically, with the figures here, the same thing with the uniforms. I had to use my imagination a little bit on the epaulets. I made them yellow. They could have been red, but I'm not sure. Two guys with shells. We've got a, another guy here um, who I guess is uh, he's a, the, one of the gunners. And we've got an NCO here and this guy here. Um... That's pretty much it for the figures. As I said, there'll be some photos up here. As for me, uh, I'm off to the city tomorrow for my uh, for a game, uh, my first game of bolt action uh, this year, so that should be fun. Um, the goals are uh, mid-basing, and I've got uh, another Ancients uh, project and a bolt action project uh, in full swing. So I hope to show all of you uh, all of that in upcoming videos here real soon. So guys, take it easy. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Uh, keep those brushes moving, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.